Highbury is the former home of the politician Joseph Chamberlain, an industrialist. It's just outside the centre of Birmingham, but it is remarkable both for its architecture and its interior design and the history of the family who lived here. The building style is what we call Venetian Gothic. It's very rich, very richly ornamented, a lot of decoration with natural forms, wild animals, wildlife, birds, because Joseph Chamberlain was very passionate about nature and wildlife. Highbury is a grade two star listed building. That's one of the highest classifications you can have. We're very lucky to have it. It survived remarkably well because it was remarkably well built. But the building is now 120 years old. And in that time, the wear and tear is beginning to show. There's a lot of damage to the roof timbers in the building a lot of rot which has occurred, and so the roof is the priority for getting the building back into a fit condition. We're repairing the roof because it's been leaking for a number of years. There's a major temporary roof on here that took about six weeks to get up. Wherever possible, we're using materials that match the original. We've stripped all the tiles off. We've managed to keep about 80% of the original tiles, taking all the old lead work off. We're now reforming gutters. Uh, we're repairing rafter ends where they've rotted. There's a lot of rot around chimneys and another couple of years, and to be honest, a lot of the, uh, the roof would have failed. So I think we've arrived just in time to, uh, to save this roof. It's very exciting working on a building like this. Sometimes we're opening up works that have never been seen since the original construction. You can never plan and design for everything, so you discover things along the way as you're stripping away roof tiles, etc. So one of the big surprises is that when we got the scaffolding erected, we were able to get to the gargoyles, and, and some of those looked okay from the ground, but actually uh, were quite decayed, so we've had to take them away and have them remade by specialists. People don't do kind of training courses, particularly on heritage projects. So you do need people with the skills that have built up over the years. And those skills have been passed down. This building is part of the heritage of Birmingham and, and the people of Birmingham need to be proud of it and need to be able to come and visit it. The work will give Highbury another 100, 150 year life. I knew the roof was in a poor way, but until you actually see the tiles stripped, the plaster removed, you really don't appreciate just how bad it had become. And it's such a relief to see the work going on now that's going to stop that decay. There is a lot more to do once we've repaired the roof, because the electrics in the building are very old, um, so we need to rewire it thoroughly. We need to install a new heating system here. The windows, they all need repairs. There's a lot of leaky windows, drafty windows. We need to upgrade the insulation standards in the building. It's the start of a journey, which now it's begun. I think I can begin to see a bright and happy future for Highbury. <laughs>